Here we are with uh, the show, The Artful Solar Eclipse. And what an eclipse is, is shown in this piece that is at the entry of um, the Corinne Woodman Gallery. And it explains exactly how things go. It's by Joan Lindsay, who was trying to work with her grandson to explain um, what happens during a solar eclipse. And it's a storyboard. Elizabeth Berger really went for something very simple and elegant and uh, refers to the moon with this silver circle and then with the sun hiding, hiding behind that um, with some copper. Um, I think simple and elegant describes it well. Rebecca Arthur is showing us three stages of the eclipse in uh, Raku ceramics. And what she's done here, it's very simple in shape, but she made the ceramic plates, um, the circles, a little bit bulging, which gives it extra interest. And then the raku, the typical raku white with the crackalure, uh, really gives some liveliness to the piece. This piece, The Great Eclipse of 2017, is a little bit different than all the other pieces. It um, talks about the eclipse as um, an ominous occurrence. And she, the Joey Azul has drawn five eyes that are slowly closing. The first one says truth. The second one says justice. The third, equality and the fourth reason, while the fifth is closed with a tear. I think we all know what she is referring to, this end in a tear. Um, Holly Campbell with a piece called Sisigi, a word I never heard of. And I thought this was a very fanciful way of doing it, but um, when you look at the sun, and you look at the magnetic fields and the flurry-ups, and it really looks like this. It, this is very close to reality, so um, a beautiful piece of reality. Diane Como submitted an extraordinary piece of um, embroidery with beads, and it is a bird in front of the eclipsed um, sun with the moon in front of that. Uh, she put the bird there um, because of a maybe urban myth that birds will lose their way when the eclipse is there and f start tumbling down from the sky. Um, because she didn't really know uh, if this is true, it is a fantasy bird. When you come to look, pay great attention to how beautifully she's done this the texture in the moon. Um, it's just a very delicate but a wonderfully executed piece. Here's another piece that paid a lot of attention to the bumpy surface of the moon by um, Vadel Snyder. It's glass and um, I think he used great, to great effect um, lots of layers and, and frit of glass and, and created the craters, but there is a lot of depth in this piece and the sun is just peeking out a little bit. Um, here we have a piece by Sam Hoffman. It is porcelain. When we think of porcelain, we think of dainty teacups, but uh, this is quite a robust piece that was fired in an amagama kiln. Uh, Sam has manipulated um, the, the, sh the shape and what he put in it so he could control the flames a little bit to create the pattern and he worked with slips in, his, in it as well. Here's a very nice piece by um, Muriel Condon. It's a little installation. This all goes together. Uh, we have a treasure box with an opaque orb and a transparent orb. And um, I leave it to you, who you, uh, which one you want to interpret as the sun or the moon. Um, Muriel uh, thought about the myths that exist where 
uh, animals, celestial animals, eat the sun, and this is why the eclipse is happening. So she has a lot of references in this painting, which is gouache on cotton, uh, about food. There is a melon shape on the table, there is some seed here, and uh, another piece of food that is not easily identifiable. And of course here, a reference to the sun and the moon in Gothic architecture. Would you be referring to the art center itself, maybe? Photographer Phil Coleman played a little trick on us. He photographed a previous eclipse in San Diego at uh, the seashore, and he directed his lens not to the sun, but to the reflection. And the reflection was on the beach and on the water. Then he turned his piece upside down and uh, made it look as if the sun is, the eclipse is coming through the cloud. And if you wouldn't know it, you would not know it. Deva Behrens made this little mixed media piece here. When you look in it, you will see um, the, the sun behind the moon. And here she is referring to time. Uh, she sees that um, space and, and all that is, the way we look at it, is a human construct. And anything we construct, we can also deconstruct. And that is exactly what she's done here. She has faces of watches and the watches on top. And of course, um, a little uh, world globe. Jess Graf made a paper cut. This is not a drawing, this is not a print, this is something that is cut out of one piece of paper. Uh, she refers um, to the woman as space, as the universe, who is holding lovingly the sun and the moon in front of it. Her flowing hair and her flowing dress really refers to the uh, unending universe. I hope you enjoyed our Artful Solar Eclipse show. It is up through September 2nd. We're closed on August 21st, so you can go and look at the eclipse itself. But we are open on August 20th.